So a massage therapist reached out to me and asked for a video on this subject because she was feeling a little bit defeated and disappointed. Now, there was a podcast that she had listened to that stated that the difference was that a small business owner is someone who has to be involved in their business day to day, while an entrepreneur is somebody who scales their business to the point where they can completely walk away from those daily tasks. So while she had thought of herself as an entrepreneur, this conversation had her thinking, I'm just a small business owner. Now, first and foremost, let me just say that there is no such thing as just a small business owner. Small business owners are nothing to take lightly. They are quite literally the backbone of an economy. But regardless, I disagree with that sort of definition anyway, and I'm far from the only one who does. It's so much more than just being able to step away from your business one day. That definition usually comes from millionaires and billionaires who fancy their method as the only true entrepreneurship. They've started multiple businesses, built them, and have grown them to the point where they no longer have to be involved in daily tasks, and yet they still pull in a big chunk of change from that company. So yippee for them. That is fantastic and awesome, but not everybody wants that. So let's look at the differences between these two terms, piece by piece, in the way they're usually described by most business savvy people. So small business owners fill a need. It's not necessarily a great need or anything super special. It's not something that can't be recreated by a dozen other people. An entrepreneur, on the other hand, is innovating something totally new, something that not just anybody has the mind and the drive and the passion to create. So for instance, I can open up a small massage practice here in my town and have a steady client stream offering generic massage services and I can pull in a great income for my family for the next 30 years running that practice. That would make me a small business owner according to some people's definition. Why? Because any other therapist could do the same thing. There's nothing wrong with this. There is no shame in being a small business owner of that time. But if I open my massage practice and completely flip the concept of what massage is, to my town and you know maybe offered a totally new modality and held client education classes every week and expanded the, you know and changed the culture of massage in the area maybe even had numerous locations that's innovation that is entrepreneurship at least according to some people now if i keep my practice small and stick with my regular clients and don't really risk much but instead just kind of hold steady i'd be classified as a small business owner if instead I take a lot of risks, maybe putting a lot of money and time into expanding and innovating where I'm not 100% certain it's going to pan out, I'm an entrepreneur. Small business owners tend to hold steady and stay comfortable. Entrepreneurs take risks, sometimes very, very big risks. Small business owners hold the economy. Entrepreneurs propel the economy forward because, again, they're innovating and constantly evolving. They're disrupting the status quo, typically growing large enough to provide numerous jobs for their area. So small business owners do what others are doing or what others could pretty easily do. Entrepreneurs do something totally new. And one of the biggest differences touted that separates these two, small business owners go into work every day to make a living. Entrepreneurs do it with a passion that cannot be squashed no matter how much or how little money they're making. When they fail or they get knocked down, they get back up and they keep working. They don't wallow and guard themselves from the possibility of failure. They use it to propel themselves forward into the next innovation. Here's what it really boils down to. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares whether you're a small business owner or an entrepreneur? Some people say you're only an entrepreneur if you're making millions of dollars. Others say it's more a matter of the why and the passion behind your business and your willingness to get up when you've been knocked down. So here's the thing. According to the dictionary, which I don't know about you guys, but that's where I tend to get my definitions from, an entrepreneur is defined as a person who organizes and operates a business or businesses taking on greater than normal financial risks in order to do so. So basically, if you started and are running a business and put any money into it, guess what? You are an entrepreneur by definition. So don't get caught up in what Tony Robbins or Gary Vaynerchuk or Elon Musk or any other bazillionaire out there wants to say. Screw everybody else's opinion about the terms and build your business the way you want. Don't chase somebody else's dream or think that what you do is somehow less important because it's not some large conglomerate corporation. Don't get so caught up in the terms that you let it define you or diminish you or in any way change your view of what your business is and what you want it to be. These are just words. Thank you so much for watching guys and if you have a question that you want answered or a subject you want covered, let me know and I will make a video for you. As always, check us out at mymassageworld.com, like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and stay tuned for more videos.